guys. Today I'll be doing the look I'll be doing this Back to the Future inspired look. Um, we're going to start off with um, a green cover concealer. A number 35. Now the reason why I picked this movie, this is one of my favorite movies, this is a fun movie. Uh, because it talks about how how Doc needs help going back to the future. The guy just appears before him. A Doc who invented the time machine. Use my outfit. And Auntie Biddy Etley. And warns him about the future and how he needs to save the future in order to bring uh, Michael J. Fox character Marty parents together in order for him to exist and prevent Biff from stealing his mom from his dad. So Michael J. Fox goes back to the future, meets Doc who hasn't invented the time machine yet, and Doc questions him who really is, I guess, using the mind reading machine. <laughs> and ironically, it does not work, and he does not know. Doc doesn't know that he's created a mind machine. So Michael J. Fox like tells him how the mind machine, I mean, not mind machine, but how the, uh, the core that travels to the future works. And that's how Doc invents the time machine. <laughs> Ironically, <laughs> someone from the future has to tell him. <laughs> I mean, someone from the past has to tell him. <laughs> tell him how the future and time machine works. <laughs> and I like how he questions him and said, "Who's president?" He said, "Ronald Reagan." And he's and he's just now by how an actor is president in 1985. So, in order for events to change, and things to get back in order, Doc. And Marty goes and um, saves the future by changing the past and his own parents' future and his own future. And now I'm going to be using my, um, my other foundation concealer, my powder. Powder, I guess it's CM505 Amoka. Now, I like how in this movie it predicts a lot of things in the future, like the hoverboard, that movie, uh, the 3D technology, CGI technology, and um, um, holographic technology that we have in the future now, and also how, um, how um, I guess, things in the past repeats itself in the future. Like how, I like how this movie is like a metaphor for that. And how um, they go back to 1950 and um, uh, saves his mom and dad relationship and how they meet with the help of him himself. And instead of his uh, parents becoming a ghost in the picture or disappearing, they actually stay in the picture, remain in the picture, and then, um, I guess fall in love and meet each other. They see Michael J. Fox. Now, the makeup look I'm doing is Michael J. Fox, Mar character Marty's girlfriend, and, um, I like how they <laughs> switched his girlfriend to someone else. I believe Jennifer Grey or something else in the second movie. And I like how, also, the movie predicted, like, how Biff, that type of person, was present. Using a brown from the exotic perfusion underneath the eyes. In the second one, I believe. Second Back to the Future. And it was like almost a Trump like character. Bully of a character. And how also in real life is also reflective because we had like a person who looks somewhat like him, which is Herbert Hoover. Actually, before Donald Trump became president. 
So it's almost like a mathematical science algorithmic equation that someone can calculate, really, a scientist could calculate who could possibly be our next president, who, what could they possibly look like based on the science. Which is, it's kind of scary, but kind of funny in how that movie reflects that. I'm using a brown from this, and I'm also using brown from your average, average grocery store here. So, as based on who you fall in love with. And today, that is even more easier to calculate by using Google, Google search, who you meet, who you, uh, the places you go to, that type of thing. Trying to get like that smoky brown eyeliner for now. Blah, 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 blah. That she uses. And eventually, I guess I needed the character. In the movie, The Girlfriend, <laughs> by the time the second movie changes the storyline, also. <laughs> in the second movie, we really have to save his future and his kids in the future. <laughs> so, yeah, I like how that predicted everything in new technology. How 1985 movie predicted, like, things we have now in 2018, 2020, 2021, 2022. That type of thing. If only we had a Marty that saved us from 2019. Huh? <laughs> okay, I'm using regular eyebrow pencil. Uh, that was like a backward world. And hopefully, someone doesn't repeat the same mistake in the future. <laughs> This is City Color Rotten Lipstick. Number 28, Dusty Rose. I'm using that for lipstick. Because it wears like a light plum pink. But I'm going to put like a little makeup, a little pink on it. Just to make it look pale. More pale. Because she wears like a matte lip. Almost like like an eighties lipstick. It's more of a lipstick, a pink, beige pink lipstick. It looks kind of matte. The chemical compound has changed. When it comes to lipstick, making lipstick nowadays, most of them are uh, animal friendly. And um, the color is also. If they do come out with the same color, the um. The viscosity of the lipstick itself has changed. Also for for blush, I'll be using this pink by Zoe. So the I love the movie. It's a family family friendly movie. I like how the kid goes back to save his parents, his own kids' lives. And also has to deal with the same bully Biff throughout history, throughout 1950, throughout the future, year 2000s, and throughout, like, even in his present day in the 80s. He had to, had to deal with it. I feel like Biff is that, uh, I guess that marker, or that, um, also, I'm a scare, I'm a scare, man. For that time travel, which is funny. <laughs> we'll see Sephora brow gel. So yeah, the outfit. I hope you guys watch it. And the outfit I'm wearing is like a nice jacket, orange jacket, snow jacket, jeans, and some nice jean sleeves, orange jumper. Pockets. I'm going to flip this and it'll be blue on the inside. So, yeah. 
and uh, also jeans, faded jeans. Isn't mine has holes in it? Yeah, this is my leg. You guys like this look? Hopefully, the thing doesn't repeat itself again in 2024. It's like we're really, really trying. Uh, we're really trying. We're really, really praying that this not repeat itself again. And <laughs> how movies reflect, um, reflect, um, like a society as a whole and how sometimes you can tell the future just based on psychology and how people interact with each other and how love saved the day <laughs> in the movie itself so yeah i hope you guys like this video and the perfume i may picked was for it was eternity for men usually i don't pick a like men's perfume but i'm picking one now because the question just like is marty so this is attorney for men cologne calvin klein made in france another one's made in france so it's supposed to give off the smell of casual yet sophisticated conscious spicy caramel and elegant suburban germanium and aromatic green lentist so yeah this is the smell i really hope they do like remake Back to the Future, much as is a classic, but someone gets it right and put like a female lead. <laughs> I would watch it if they like get the whole tone and the funniness of it, like, or something just as creative as that. It smells so good. Is that soft feel, comfort feel? Of, of eternity. Actually, it really smells really good, sophisticated. Smell like the green lentis aromic in their germanium, so it gives a nice. I want to say clearing feel, but nice smooth feel, almost leather. Makes me think of leather smooth car seats. I'm not in the middle of the night, driving type of feel, so. Feels too good. Anyway, so this is it. I'm turning for men. Calvin Klein. Feels really, really good. And yeah, this is my outfit. I hope you guys like it. Okay. Bye. And I hope you guys like this video. And you watch that movie because it's it's a really good family from the movie. So, mwah, peace, love, and light. Love you guys. The idea of my ad, like, even, like, like, what I'm, what I'm exactly explaining, like, even, like, the decisions you make today, even the smallest little decision can affect your future. Like, even the girl from, who was on the cover of It Girl, back in, let's see, 2000? Let's see, what, what is this novel period? First edition, November 2005. Was a model for this. Was also worked for the Trump administration. Administration, like even like the smallest thing, smallest, smallest picture, the smallest little, smallest action could affect the future. Supposedly the future. So it's crazy how like the smallest things could affect it. Even like falling in love with another person or a different person or like whoever you marry or whoever you go out with, that type of thing. So yeah, guys. <laughs> so what I'm trying to say is whatever you do, do it with love. Do it with um, kindness, you know, with the act of love and not malice. So, so everyone, yeah. I guess that's the takeaway from this movie and lesson from this also make a video. So whatever you do, even if it means like the smallest little thing, act of love, it may save someone's future, someone's life, someone's, um, the whole world's future even, maybe, political future. <laughs> so yeah, love you all. Once again, peace, love, and light. Mwah, love you, love you.